So this is radioactive household items number one. And the first thing that I found was this no salt. It's sodium free salt. Doesn't make much sense. But yeah, so I'll measure this for you right now. So we've got the no salt salt substitute, sodium free salt, laid out on a paper towel. We got a CDV 700 model 6. And so I'm going to open up my beta shields here. And then, so I'm going to put the Geiger probe right above the salt. And watch. So I'm getting little blips. So that's about 0.5 millirankins an hour. Approaching one. Alright, so got up, so I think our max point was about, it's still reading it, because it's right next to it. I think our max point was one millirinkin an hour, Let's see, millirinks hour. Right, so our max was about right there. Okay. That's pretty radioactive. Now I'm going to show you a radioactive vase that I found. Okay, so this is a radioactive vase. And the way I know that, or how I figured it out was, me and my sister were playing with our uh, this black light right here. And we shined it on it, and we saw that. That is depleted uranium mixed in with it when it was made. So, I'm going to turn on my diary counter. Open up my beta shield. So we're at about 0.2 mil okay, almost 0.3. So it's about maybe 100 to 200 counts per minute on this thing, which is not, it's not terribly radioactive, but that's pretty good for an old vase like this. Oh, above 200. So, ooh, 225, 250. Alrighty, now I'll show you a smoke detector. So I've uh, got my smoke detector here opened, and that right there is the ionizing chamber. That's where I'm going to get my emery seam out. So I'm going to go ahead and open that up, and then get the emery seam out. Okay, so I've got the ionizing chamber kind of open, and right in there you can see the americium. So I'm going to pick this up, counter up here, and then now I'm going to hold my probe up to right where the americium is. So, so I'm not getting a very high reading yet. Well, actually, well, kind of. But no, not not a very superior reading. But I am getting a reading, so I think when I get this out, I'll have a lot more. So I have the uh, americium here clearly exposed. You can see it right there. And now I'm going to test it with my Geiger counter if it focuses. Okay, so I'm putting the Geiger probe right on it. Like that. Change my position here with the thingy. 
So I was having trouble getting this apart with these little thingies. So I decided to use tin snips. I think these are a little bit overkill for what I'm trying to do here, but overkill is underrated. So all that. Just for that little thing right there. But that little thing right there. I, I believe it the americium is actually the little thing in the middle right there. It's probably encased in some kind of um, metal foil. So my camera focuses here. So I don't know, I don't think my camera is going to focus on it. But if you look in the middle, that little bluish looking thing in the camera right now. Let me try and zoom out a little bit so you can see better. That little thing in the metal right there, that is the americium, probably, encased in some kind of little metal. So now I will show you just how radioactive that little thing is. So I'm going to get my counter here, open up the beta shields, turn on times one, let it calibrate itself here for a minute. So that little thing, I'm going to set it, set the probe on it, and so we're going up, alright, we're going to max out, okay, so we're maxed out here, I'm going to turn it on times 10, so that's about a thousand counts a minute. That's not very significant, but that's quite a bit. Yeah, exactly. A thousand counts a minute just for that that little tiny piece of americium there. So, yep. So I've shown you the uh, radioactive vase, the no salt, and the radioactive smoke detector. So, uh, yep. Thanks for watching. Bye.